video and then as you can see I've wrapped up because it's all of a sudden it's decided to get cold but before I show you what's on my lovely lovely menu for breakfast this morning just want to go over a few things with the 5x5 the strength training etc if you haven't seen the previous video about deadlift gains and it's time for a change check that video out I explained that I'm now moving on to more strength training with the 5x5 and a few more strength lifts like the split and jerk and things like that so this week I've done 5x5 all week with my squats, deadlifts and bench press and cannot actually believe the amount of strength that I've almost gained already from this first week. With the squats I was doing 180, 5 sets of 5 and then for a laugh I decided to move up to 200 again, see how I got on that. I got to 3 reps on 200kg and then I thought shall I go for 210 or shall I go for 220 straight away? Then I thought nah maybe I'm pushing my luck too soon so we stopped on 200 for three reps but next set um, sorry my next workout will be tomorrow on legs and I'll be doing hopefully 200 kg for five sets of five repetitions the strength on it is going up unreal the deadlifts I'm now doing 200 for um, four sets no three sets of four, four repetitions. I'm not quite there yet with the five sets of five. My actual five sets of five is the 180. I've done that on the deadlift gains video. So make sure you check that video out. Again, like I said, it's a cool video and it explains everything, reason why I'm going to strength training as well. And bench as well. I'm now doing five sets of five on the 140. So my aim is to try and get for 150, five sets of five next week. So the strength training is actually showing improvements. Set definitely with my strength, but I just thought I'd keep you up to scratch with everything with the five sets of five and my strength training at the moment. I am really enjoying it and things are going so great. Other news, the mini cut is going really well. I'm now down to 216 pounds today. It's another week gone, another pound drop. So everything seems to be working perfectly. And also, I've just got so much news for you guys. Next Saturday, I'll leave the date up. I'm pretty sure it'll be the 12th of November, but I'll be heading down to King's Gym in Croydon. It's a new gym that's just opened up in Croydon. If you haven't heard of it, check out their Instagram. I'll leave that down in the description below. Check out their website. When I say website, I mean their Instagram page. It is unreal. Their equipment they have in that gym. They actually put this gym together within like 40 weeks or something like that. It was so quick how they got this uh, gym together, but it looks incredible. Loads of people have been asking me if I'll be going down to that gym. So I'm planning on going down there next Saturday. This will be the day after my birthday, almost like a birthday celebration. So if you guys are from the area and you want to come down, let's have a session all together. We can all get together if you are from the area, like I said. Make sure you let me know in the comments below. So tell me if you want to come or not and if you like the idea. Like I said, I'll leave everything down in the description, where it is, the location, the address, what time I'll be down there and what day I'll be down there. Everything will be down there somewhere. Just down there. So check that out. But anyway, let's get to the most important thing of the day. Breakfast. And what's on my menu? I've got it all nicely lined out because for me breakfast is the most important meal for me and I like to make sure it's all laid out so I can relax get on with my editing or work or whatever and enjoy my first meal because pretty much most of my other meals throughout the day I just never get to enjoy them I just have to smash them down as quick as I go because I'm always on the move but anyway I have my omelette as always I've got four whole eggs with three egg whites and of course I've got my ketchup on there and a little bit of sea salt with this, I've got a bowl of oats with 110 grams of oats, and I'm using the Almond Breeze unsweetened. I've got about 200 ml or so on there with that. That's my food. And then alongside my two tablets of vitamin C, gives me 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C to keep that immune system A-OK. -okay. 
Of course, my coffee. I am still on the decaf. I'm on no caffeine at all. I'm doing pretty well, as you can tell. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not all moody and gropey like this. I'm actually doing quite all right so far, but it's only been maybe a week, so fingers crossed it stays like that. Also, with my breakfast, I have my vitamins that I get in every single morning, but I thought I'd show you guys today what I've got. So we've got my calcium and vitamin D. I have a 15... 100 milligrams a day, so that's three tablets of that. I have my one omega-3. I have three of these a day, but I like to take them throughout the day, so I have one now, one in the afternoon, and then one about evening time. I have my two vitamin B tablets. I have my two uh, A to Z multivitamin tablets. I have one iron tablet. I have my multivitamin tablet, and also my vitamin E tablet. So that's pretty much all my tablets. Pretty boring, but I thought I'd show you guys. Other than that, that's it. That's the whole morning for you guys. Done. So let's get the rest of this day over with. That didn't quite go as fast as I wanted to, so that's a bit awkward. So there you go, there's a current update on my physique at the moment. We're 216 pounds exact today, 10 pounds dropped in total. It's been five weeks so far. We've got another three weeks left off the mini cut. Everything seems to be going good. I'm really happy with how things are going. The weight's going down on the scales, yet the weight's either maintaining or going up in the gym. So that's all positive. But I feel like I can bring down a bit more body fat and bring in some more conditioning. So I may adjust a few things come to the end of the eight week cut. In that case, what I'll do is I'll then increase the mini cut to 10 weeks, maybe 12 weeks maximum, giving myself an extra two to four weeks to play around and get to where I'm more happy and comfortable with. If everything seems to be going on track and then come at the end of the eight weeks, I'm happy with how things are. I'll leave it as that and then go straight onto my bulging phase. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Giving you guys a quick update. I'm happy with how things are going. Just want to bring a bit more body fat down. That's pretty much it. But now it's the best time of day. Some more food pre-workout oh yeah I'm not going to be filming any of my back workout today because I've got so much to get done and I want to kind of get in and out with this workout. So apologies on that front. But if you want to see any of my workouts from my channel, check out in the description below. There's a link to the playlist to all the workouts I've done on my YouTube channel. You can head over there and check out any video you want to see on my workouts. Give them a thumbs up if you do go check them out. But other than that, I'm going to go in now, get this back workout done. We're going to focus on deadlifts for start. We're going to do the five sets of five. Hopefully, if my back's feeling okay and I'm feeling strong, we're going to do 200 if we can. If not, we're going to go back to the 180s for five sets of five. So, fingers crossed on that front. What I may do is I may get a short clip and post it on my Instagram tomorrow. So, if you are interested and want to find out if I reach 200 for five sets of five, check out on my Instagram. Follow me on there and you'll see the post tomorrow. Other than that, see you in a bit. gym so ain't nothing big but we got 180 five sets of five like I said nothing big that's right 180 five sets of five bearing in mind in the last video deadlift gains if you haven't seen that video go check it out I got three sets of five repetitions that is a big improvement in my eyes I'm very 
very happy with that. And to be honest, all I feel like doing right now is now going home and ordering a big fat burger because I feel like I deserve it. But I'm going home to eat sweet potato and chicken instead. <sighs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Five sets of five on 180. Hopefully we can improve on that and then maybe move on to 190 and then 200 for five sets of five. The strength training at the moment is unbelievable. I'm really, really enjoying it and it's something different. I always strongly advise that if you're kind of getting in a rut and you're plateauing in that, change something up. Do something different. So for me, the strength training at the moment is a plus and I'm really having fun with it. And you know, it's lifting heavy weights. So all's a win-win. But anyway, just going to get in my post-workout shake now. Just finished off 25 minutes of cardio as well after the workout. And I've got in here two scoops of the chocolate caramel flavor protein. If any of you are interested in supplements for cutting or even bulking as well, check out this video just up here. It's a recent video that I just uploaded explaining what the best supplements are for cutting and bulking. It's a good video. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go check that one out and give it a big thumbs up. Anyway, I'm going to go back home, have a quick shower, then get some food in and I'll show you guys what my post-workout meal is. So I'll see you guys there. Right, so back at home and so, so close to ordering a pizza. I'm not joking, I was that close. But then I thought, it's my birthday Friday, so I'm probably going to be out and with my family and having some sort of good food then. So I'm going to try and calm, relax, stay focused, and hold it out for another five to six days. Because then I will then indulge in some good food. So, got my post-workout meal with me, and it is just some sweet potato, chicken, broccoli, and of course, that ketchup. Got some videos to catch up with and some editing to do, making sure I get that content up for you guys. So, I'm going to leave this video here for you. I am completely drained out and exhausted, as you can see. It's been a long week for me. It's been a long day as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I do really appreciate it if you do so. If you are new to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe before you leave. The subscribe button is probably just up there or just, it's somewhere. Make sure you press it. Follow me on all my social links and also check out in the description below of those other videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Make it happen. I need you, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down I think I'm losing my mind now It's in my head, darling, I hope That you'll be here when I need you the most So don't